What's going on everybody, Kenny Dopes here with a, another Mega Man X Dive weekly patch update video. So, as per usual on the global version, I'm going to poke around and take a look at what's new for the global version this week here. As usual, no support is of zero health once again. <laughs> Don't know why I keep trying. Maybe one day it'll work. I guess first this time around, let's go look at the shop here. Uh, don't forget to get your free daily pack. As per usual, uh, just it's just 10 EMs and a little bit of Zenny, but you know what? It's a free extra 10 EMs each day. Uh, other than that, I don't think there's anything worthwhile, anything new here. Actually, I lied. There are some new things here. Uh, the holiday rerun vouchers here. Uh, we get a few tickets for those here. Uh, if you wish to buy them, I wouldn't. Um, but the value isn't bad, uh, realistically, because it's ten. It's like eleven dollars and change for you know a multi pull, which that's a lot better than usual for uh, value you can get in this game. But like I said, I wouldn't really recommend that. Then there's this pack here where you can get seven or six multi pulls for fifty five dollars and change. Uh, here, uh, along with some DNA points. Other than that, doesn't look like anything else is here. As per usual, I only recommend buying one of these three packs here. Uh, the daily boost packs. Um, I don't think there's anything here. Oh, there is the, um, the rest of the Devil May Cry stuff here. Uh, the, the EM packs reset, so if you've been doing enough of your dailies to get the tokens, uh, you can get more of the Elemental Metal packs here. Elemental Metal boxes, and you can get between 20 and 100. If you're lucky, you get 300 because there are three boxes. If you're unlucky, you get 60 because you can get a minimum of 20 per each box. I forgot to put a picture of the... Um, or talk about it a little bit earlier, the uh, login bonus here. Uh, there's a Halloween login bonus, or you know the the event uh, login bonus here. And on the seventh day, you actually get a ticket for a free pull on the banner. So that's quite nice there. As I mentioned just previously, the DMC coin drop event is still active. So again, you can still get 49 coins per day for the next six days. So just be sure to get you know, the amount that you will need for to clear the shop we just looked at earlier. Halloween Scare Challenge event is back. This is the one with the Pumpkin at Darkman. Uh, I've covered this event at one point already on my channel, uh, so I should have a card uh, somewhere in the corner uh, for that. <clears throat> uh, but the rewards here, they're threshold based, so you get enough points and you will be able to get the rewards. The Mummy Armored Soldier card is here as well. Uh, not a bad card. We have much better cards this time around. And you can also get the point we had a Dark Man card here as well, which is exclusive to this event. Uh, other than that, uh, there's not really much of note here. You know, just get your EMs and things like that. And uh, that's basically it for this event. All right, taking a look over at the capsules. And apparently we got uh, the s rank version of Vile here called Vengeful Vile. Not sure what's in his kit. But, like the other units here... <clears throat> oh, sorry about that. Uh, like the other units, um, it's only a 15 pity here, so if you want Vengeful Vile, uh, good luck. Hopefully you don't have to go to the 15 pity limit. Uh, there is a free pull associated with it, and just I just want to check real quick. Okay, the other units are not here as a part of the banner at all, the other S rank units, unfortunately. So they will still be pretty limited. So if you wanted one of them, hopefully you pulled on their banner when they dropped. And as more come out, you'll have to pull on their banner as they drop. Otherwise, you might be waiting for a little bit for that. Other than that, we have the limited, or we have the Halloween banner uh, rerun here. The first Halloween banner, um, the one with uh, Halloween Vile and Halloween Marino. These two characters got buffed. We'll go over those in a little bit here. So the major buffs. Um, these two got like buff DNA, buff passives, and things like that. Uh, 20 pulls here as kind of per usual for this. And I just want to check... Okay. Uh, I guess this means that um, Halloween Sigma and... Uh, Halloween Sigma, Halloween Roll, Halloween Ale will be getting their buffs later this month because those are the other three Halloween characters we have that have not gotten their buffs yet. Also, we might get some of these at this stream later tonight as well. Um, so there could be potential for more free tickets. Um, we do get one on the seventh day of logins and, um, likely 
at the stream later tonight as well. At least I'm pretty sure there's a stream later tonight. As per usual, if there is, um, I'll have a I'll have a short with that. But real quick, let's do my vial pull. Then we're gonna go take a look at the new unit and the um, and the buffs for the previous Halloween units. All right, this pull looks dead, so we're gonna click skip. Yep, and it's dead. Let's take a look at Vengeful Vile first. I'm not sure why Vile is listed here before True Zero Z, because Zero Z came out beforehand, but whatever. All right, Vengeful Vile. Uh, his aura is purple. Well, he has the Omega aura. Uh, instead of like the usual kind of like Super Saiyan aura, as uh, you know, we like to call it. Uh, more akin to the Omega aura, Vengeful Round. Uh, fire two electric shock rounds, for the cannon, each do 150% attack damage when you target mobile. Grants a true shield for one second. <clears throat> uh, so it's true show time. Uh, and enhanced tracking. Okay, not bad. Increasing, increasing range by 30%. Uh, diffusing round, uh, shoot three bullets at the same time, causing 140% attack damage to the target. Okay, so they reach the crowd by 10 and, uh, that's interesting that it decreases the power by 10. Uh, give it three rounds because someone like Super Base does not do that. Uh, Super Base just deals full damage with his shots, but you know, whatever. Uh, penetrating light round, shoot two large light round bullets that can penetrate terrain to each 180% attack damage to the target. Okay, that's interesting because they can penetrate terrain, uh, deal more damage, and that should still have enhanced tracking as well, uh, which is quite nice. Find that way the eventual grenades are supposed to round uh, explode 150% damage to so those targets in the range. And it's tracking ignores terrain and grants a true shield for one second. Okay, so again, true showtime. Uh, increase damage by 20%. Increase range, uh, range and effective range by 33%. Uh, increases targets, or 50% defense pressure, which is actually quite nice there. Right, we're gonna just take a look at the DNA. We'll just make sure none of their DNA has been released. Okay. Let me make sure. As for the passives, eventual launcher mastery. Uh, why do they? I don't know why. Like they change the wording for some things, right? Like it says, it says attack and defense are increased by thirty percent. Like every other character doesn't use the word defense, right? Because we don't have an actual defense stat. Uh, it just you know damage mitigate, like damage taken is reduced by thirty five percent, which is what it means. Um. Hell, even on even on a character that they released recently, uh, reduced damage taken to fifty percent. So I don't know why they they keep changing up the wording for things. It's just not consistent. Uh, vengeful skill power after using a skill, uh, increase attack by thirty percent. The effect cannot uh, the effect cannot stack and gain a shield that can withstand one hundred percent one hundred twenty percent attack damage. Okay, uh, so this doesn't stack. Which, I, I guess that's good to clarify that it doesn't stack. And uh, you gain a shield, which is good for Vile. Uh, vengeful Patience. Every 10 seconds in battle, increase attack by 10%. Cannot be removed. Uh, it increases damage by 10%. Stack up to 5 times. Okay, so you get 50... 80% attack boost that cannot be removed. Hmm, not bad. Vengeful Pride updating a target with Vengeful Round, restore HP equal 35% of your attack. It can trigger you every 8 seconds, so Vengeful Round, that is this one, okay. And then Vengeful Repeat and Boss Destroyer, every 8 seconds gain an extra activation for both skills. <laughs> I, I don't understand why they keep changing the wording on how they're doing things, even when they themselves are the ones that are making these effects. The second boss damage, uh, character increases damage by 25%, eh. It's the second part is whatever. Um, but restriction off every eight seconds on both skills is quite nice. Um, not sure how Vile will perform in PvP. Uh, he does have terrain piercing, does have shield, does have attack boot, uh, buffs, and uh, mitigation, which is quite nice. Also gets uh, attack amplification on launchers, which is really, really good um, for things like the... Uh, God, I forgot the name. Of it decides will uh comet uh turbo cannon if you really want to run that 
Um, so that's quite nice there for Vile here. Uh, the boss thing, eh, I don't, I don't really understand why they keep making things that are PVE centered because they don't give us new PVE content. So making things that are good for like PVE things doesn't really make much sense to me at all. Uh, but, uh, now let's go take a look at Halloween Vile. I don't say where's Halloween Marino, but I don't own her. I mean, I own her, so she won't be there. Um, it's also kind of weird to me that they released S-Rank Vile and buffed Halloween Vile the same week. Uh, I thought they would not do this the same week because uh, it feels like this Vile Overload. It could give us something that's, uh, you know, a different S-Rank character upgrade. Um, but, alright, so... Halloween Vile Boomerang now does 240% attack damage, which is insane. Uh, restores HP to 30% of Vile's attack. Boomerang will stay in place for a little while after hitting its target or reaching maximum range. Uh, before it disappears, gain a true shield for one second. Okay, so the changes, I had to pull this up on the side because I definitely don't remember the uh, initial um, changes for this. Um, this has increased by a lot. Uh, 126% increase in attack damage. And the heal is now guaranteed based off of this wording. Initially, it was just a chance to heal, which is quite nice there. And then the duration of the true shield by one second. So two seconds on the uh, true show time. Please have it over 20%. All right. And reduce prep time by 20%. Okay, this one hasn't changed. These two have changed, though. Because uh, this one used to be guaranteed lifesteal on the target. But since you have guaranteed lifesteal built into the skill now, um, you just change this to anything else. Next up, we have the Pumpkin Bomb. The Pumpkin Bomb will automatically... Okay, just no numbers on this, though. Great. Ah, uh, I hate that. Okay. Uh, initially, it was 201%. Uh, I don't know how much it is now. Um, but, uh, see so I can look at and change, uh, see and change. Uh, that's for 10 seconds instead of 6 seconds. Um, and then you get a... Um, you get uh, 1 second of 2 show time on this which is interesting. Uh, did this used to have? Okay, no, it does still reduce defense. It doesn't tell me the numbers, so. Okay, uh, for this, increase range attack them by 50%, which these things are always nice, but that doesn't actually tell us anything critical about it. Increase range by 50%. Well, what is the initial range? Like, well, we don't know, but that's always good. Increase the duration of Increase the duration of the defense reduction by 35%. Well, we don't know how long it lasts. Um, it used to last for apparently 10 seconds based on the wiki. Uh, I don't know if that has changed with this. I'm going to assume it hasn't. So increase that time by 35%. Uh, and then power increase by 20%, which again, that's... They just love having this... Uh, these power increases. Uh, but for the passive, let's go ahead and take a look. Um, this one is buffed by 5% here. Flight speed up on my 15%. Uh, this one has been buffed by 20%. So you get the speed increase of 45%. Uh, launcher mass resume increase by 15%. So now this is 35 instead of 20. Uh, Vampiric Desire looks like it's been increased by 10%. It's not bad. Then Jack O' Lantern. Uh, no change there. As for Halloween Vile's DNA, tips on Halloween, uh, that's unchanged. Uh, this has increased our recovery by 50% by Batwing Boomerang. Uh, what's the recovery power on it right now? 30. Okay, so 45% now. Uh, and this looks to be unchanged as well. I'm not sure if this is going to be pressure operation. No, okay, that has not been changed. So, uh, Halloween Vile uh, is definitely a uh, lot better, has a lot more longevity. Now, with his uh, with his boss, he can also deal a lot more damage in theory. Anyway, um, I don't know how much damage this, like how much the defense reduction is, how much damage this does. But uh, this right here gets a a huge damage increase, um, a lot of life steal. And um, true short time um, extended, so that's really really nice. So he has a bit more longevity there, um, and he might, it'll probably be a little bit more annoying to play in PvP because the bombs he will set. I'm pretty sure the enemy cannot see them. I might be confusing that with like Furham, swimsuit Furham, and um, 
Easter roll. Uh, but I don't remember the enemies being able to see the pumpkin bombs. Um, and this has been a while since I've even seen Halloween Vile in, uh, in PvP. But uh, let's go take a look at Marino real quick before we wrap this up. Because this video is probably getting quite long at this point. All right, here we're taking a look at Halloween Marino. I also forgot about Halloween Pandora. Uh, the only reason I even remembered Halloween Pandora um, is because I had her and I saw her and I was going back. So I was like, oh, I forgot about Halloween Pandora. So she'll probably get a buff as well uh, based off of the tweet that Nebula Joy made. But let's take a look at Halloween uh, Marino real quick. Okay, so her skill got a huge increase as well um over 100 percent increase 102 like percent increase off of this um this also gets a uh, true show time for one second right there uh it's 20 percent this is increased by 20 percent okay so that used to be five percent and send the duration of the true show time by one second okay uh and seize weapon is unchanged next up the scattering uh this was only increased by 50 percent uh, but you gain uh, true short time for one second after activating the skill. Uh, I don't think anything else has been changed about this. Um, oh, it doesn't have any damage on the second phase. Anything about the second phase of scattering. So I don't know if that changed too. It should have changed. I'm going to assume it did um, change somehow. Uh, I just don't know what the numbers are on that because the numbers weren't actually on this. 20% uh, here, so this is up by 10%. 20% uh, on this is up by 20%. And this looks to be unchanged. That's for the passive skills. Uh, slow resistance, always be immune to the effects of slow. That's actually really, really nice there. Um, they could have changed this entirely, but I think it's giving 100% resistance to slow is nice. Though I'm not sure. I, I don't know if this works for true slow because um true slowing effects or like the you know the true effects um that we the community call them tend to ignore the resistances so i don't know if this will actually if this is actually always immune to the effects of slow or always immune to the effects of the slow that aren't true slows right because one of the game tips says that our resistances um and like immunities they you know they're not immune the effects that ignore preventive shield like they just they bypass that so i don't know if this actually works the way that it reads um little devil change uh looks to be this oh nope every three seconds out of every six seconds okay uh melee and dodge it used to be mobility prep time for scattering reduced by 20 percent uh now i'm equipped with a melee weapon increased damage by 30 percent and gain a 50 percent dodge rate i don't really like this um because uh well the damage i like but the 50 percent dodge rate that's uh that just i don't i don't really like um that all that much um because there's there's no counterplay to to dodge in a like a pvp setting you know so like uh, so like 50 percent of the time your attack will just whiff just because she has a melee weapon equipped i definitely don't like that you know, people don't even really like like uh, zero vertical trigger because he has like forty two percent dodge rate, right? And she has a fifty percent dodge rate. If she's holding a melee weapon, like eh, I don't know about that one. Yes, I think it's forty two one zero vertical trigger. Increase melee by thirty percent when equipping a melee. Wait, what? So that's sixty percent for just holding a just holding a melee weapon is plus sixty percent. Wait, huh? I don't know if that was intentional. Because um, they, just, they just took this and chopped it in half and made this another passive. I'm not sure if that was intentional or not. Okay. Uh, this was supposed to be a restriction off, so you'd be able to use Phantom Kick again. Uh, can you use Phantom Kick inherently multiple times now? No, you cannot. Uh, they buffed it to, buffed it to 300%, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure on that one, actually. Mm, use time for by 30%. Increase stacks by 3. Okay, that looks to be unchanged. Okay, this looks to be the same. Uh, mark cannon board for of shield. Yeah, this looks to be the same. And that's what I mean. The stuff that ignores uh, cannot be removed in the Lord's of shield. Stuff like this uh, tends to ignore the resistances. So I don't know if like a true slow effect like that would 
ignore this slow resistance here. I'm not, I'm actually not sure about that. And here, Devil's Temptation, uh, reduce the, so, I think they have to fix this, right? Because we, you don't have restriction off anymore. <laughs> so, w this kind of, I, I don't know about this one. <laughs> This, this one has to get fixed, right? And restriction off isn't like anywhere here. So they're definitely going to have to fix that somehow. Uh, either just like removing the text of this or putting restriction off back or something. I, yeah, I don't, I don't know. But uh, yeah, that's, uh, I guess that's it for this video. Um, quite long here because we got two new character reworks and a new character which i i kind of forgot about to be honest that we were supposed to get although nebula joy didn't even tell us that uh we were getting vile this week um so there's you would think they want to build hype for that unless i missed it i don't think i missed it uh because they were decent with it for i don't know two weeks and then after that they're just like oh yeah by the way uh yeah okay no they just didn't tweet about it okay cool um yeah anyway uh let me know what you think about these buffs i think marino needs to be looked at again because uh there's some stuff there that i don't think is very healthy for a pvp aspect uh but also like the restriction off thing is pretty like that <laughs> this needs to be taken out if they're gonna remove restri restriction off to be honest uh, because restriction off isn't on her anymore. Anyway, uh, that's it for me. I'll catch you guys next time. Later.